Morning folks, welcome to an OCC Queensland daily weather wrap, but we'll also have a look at the Vanuatu Tropical Cyclone activity. Tropical Cyclone Judy has been pushing through the main island of Vanuatu with Port Villa located on the south on the southern part of that island. You can see the centre of circulation of the uh, of the cyclone passing on the eastern edge of that main island. Uh, the expectation here from now on is that uh, conditions will improve across the main population centre of Vanuatu. You can see the system developing an eye feature there, and it's uh, gradually intensifying as it tracks in a general southerly direction. It's expected Expected to turn a bit more south southeastly, which is unfortunate if you're in these islands through here, uh, because the system will then directly impact those areas. Behind this cyclone, we're also watching a low pressure system that started off the coast of uh, Cairns or off the coast of Cooktown just a couple of days ago, mixing with another low pressure system that started around Willis Island. And those two lows are going to form one low, and that that low is going to push into the Vanuatu area uh, on Friday and on Saturday. So unfortunately there is a bit more to come behind this system so hopefully things are improving there over the main island of Vanuatu now but just be aware that there is a follow-up cyclone coming as we go through today you can see 1 p.m 4 p.m notice that slight shift so it goes it goes basically southerly for the next couple of hours and then suddenly it shifts to the south southeast and that unfortunately puts these southern islands which are fairly sparsely populated and unfortunately also quite remote which is going to mean that they're going to get uh, the worst or the brunt of this cyclone as it continues to track in their direction look longer term this cyclone is not expected to affect new zealand directly which is uh, which is great news for northern New Zealand. But unfortunately, there's still quite a bit of effect to go on, uh, particularly in these southern islands over the next few hours. You can see 4 p.m., 7 p.m., 10 p.m., and by midnight tonight, things are improving across the south. So at least the system is moving quickly, and at least the system is relatively small. And that, uh, I guess, are, are two saving grace factors of it. As we go through, we can see the merging of these two lows as we push into Thursday merging into one low pressure system and that low pressure system starts to tighten up early on Friday and you can see that as it starts to tighten up we see some strong winds particularly on the eastern side now there is a little bit of uh, a little bit of disagreement in the models as to whether or not this will be an official tropical cyclone just because of the way the wind is structured but uh, we regardless of whether they decide to label it a tropical cyclone or not uh, it's going to have tropical cyclone related wind effects across the Vanuatu Islands on Friday and then into Saturday you can see it once again shifting through past the southeastern and southern islands and so by Saturday this madness will be finally over across Va Vanuatu and uh, you can start uh, picking up the pieces hopefully and hopefully there hasn't been too much damage you can see by the time it's all over Saturday night, there's still the possibility of, of another couple of hundred millimetres to come from a rainfall perspective. So not only do you have the strong winds to contend with with that second system coming across, but also uh, still some further heavy rain to come on the eastern side of that circulation. Stay safe. Please let your friends and family know that there is a second one on the way, but also that uh, that system likely not to be as strong and or as well structured as a tropical cyclone duty. Right over to Queensland, this update brought to you by TownsvilleSheds.com. Check them out if you're in the market for a shed safe accredited shed. You can see some showers on the Gulf coastline and adjacent inland areas. You can also see quite a bit of shower activity around the Cape York Peninsula region. Some very isolated mid-level base convection around the southern inland parts of the state. Let's have a look at what we can expect today across Queensland. In the afternoon, we can see some isolated mid-level based convection across southern parts of the state, extending and becoming a little bit uh, stronger right around the border areas here around southeast Queensland, northern New South Wales. Outside of that, there's some very weak convection across the inland parts of the state, as you can see on your screen there. Most of our more significant showers and thunderstorms are expected in the Gulf Country and Cape York Peninsula gradually shifting towards the eastern and central Cape as well uh, as the day goes on. But you can see that there is a little bit of convection going on down here through southern Southern central Queensland we're just not too interested in it that's all uh, as we progress into the overnight period we can see showers and thunderstorms rebuilding across Gulf waters and up through the Torres Strait Cape York Peninsula coastal regions as well and then as we progress into tomorrow morning we can see some of that impacting the coastline and also notice a bit of an increase or continuation of shower and thunderstorm activity but increasing in rainfall potential intensity across the far northern parts of northwest Queensland and through the Gulf country as a northern territory low starts to push 
push eastwards uh, over the next 24 hours. Between now and when we speak again tomorrow, we can see those showers and thunderstorms across Cape York Peninsula and the Torres Strait. You can see a nice little line there where the uh, dry air from North Queensland meets the moist air from the monsoon. And you can see lots of showers and thunderstorms across the Gulf Country and uh, the Gulf Coastline, as well as the Northern Territory, as there's a big low that's in there that's creating heavy rainfall through central NT. And that heavy rain will start to spread eastwards very slowly. And you can see some of these isolated uh, convective cells down here through southern inland Queensland. And some of those, particularly near the border areas, might be a touch stronger. Uh, but then tomorrow we're expecting to see a much stronger storm day across this region. A much more widespread storm day across this region of southern and central inland Queensland as well. But we'll deal with that in the morning. If you'd like more details on what we can expect weather-wise over the next few days, over the next few weeks, head over to join.ozcyclonechasers.com.au. Check out our subscription options if you'd like to support our work. Have a great day. Thanks for watching this video.